So we're still doing binomial expansion, uh, past paper questions. All credit goes to Cambridge examinations, this is their question. And make sure please to check my website explainingmaths.com for all my three resources. So it asks find the coefficient of the x to the power of 3 term in the expansion of. And I realize before I start that that uh, 1 plus 2x to the power 6 of part i occurs again in part ii. Okay, now I realize if I start with part i that the term... Uh, of x to the power of 3 is going to be the fourth term if I would expand it eh? because first you have 2x to the power 0 then 2x to the power 1, 2x to the power 2, 2x to the power of 3 so it's the fourth term so I could simply find that term and I have the coefficient which will be 5 but considering it returns in the question after I'm just going to write down a few more terms eh? because that's going to be useful so I'm going to write down the four, first uh, four terms okay so there we go um, you should be familiar uh, with how to do this, eh? so uh, that first part, 1 to the power 6, we're going to write down the entire thing, 2x to the power 0, it's term 1 plus 6, 1, oh, 1 to the power 5, 2x to the power 1, as long as those, those indices add up to 6, eh? 6 plus 0, 5 plus 1, it's the second term, there we go. The third term, 6, 2, 1 to the power 4, so 2x to the power 2. And then the fourth term, 6, 3, 1 to the power 3, 2x to the power 3. And that's going to be my term in x to the power 3. And again, I'm just doing those first three terms because I'll need that for part 2. Now, I do write down plus and some dots just to remind myself but I'm stopping, but I realize that actually there are more terms there at the end. Okay, I put it all in my calculator, um, uh, and then this is what you'll get. The first term is 1 plus 12x, the second term plus 60x squared for the third term, plus 160x to the power of 3. I'm just going to say plus and some dots because there's more. We're not interested in it. They're asking me for the coefficient of my term in x to the power of 3. So my answer is 160. Um, mistakes people make, especially, uh, you can plug this in your calculator, but it's 2 to the power 1, so that's fine. They go right here. But don't forget, this is 2 to the power 2, x to the power 2, eh? so 4x squared. And here it's going to be 8x to the power 3. Okay, so don't forget also to cube that 2 as you cube the x. Okay, so that is part i. Then for ii, I've done already some of the work. They ask me now, well, still, what is the coefficient of x to the power 3? But now in that particular expansion. And I'm just going to rewrite the question. So that first part, 1 minus 3x, is new. And then I'm going to write down those uh, four terms I have of this uh, part, yeah, because that's the same. So I'm going to write down 1 plus 12x plus 60x squared plus 160x cubed. And I add those dots, because I don't think I'm going to need them, but maybe I do. Uh, that's just to remind myself x to the power of 3. When am I going to get x to the power of 3? Because officially, if I would expand this, I would do 1 times 1 plus 1 times 12x plus 1 times 60x squared here plus 1. And you would multiply all those terms by each other. Then minus 3x times 1 minus 3x here times 12x. And you go on and on and on. But you're now you're only interested in the x to the power of 3. So I will get a term in x to the power of 3 if I do 1 times 160 x to the power of 3. And that is 160 x to the power of 3. So I'm not interested in all those other multiplications just in that one. But there's another term in x to the power of 3, which is minus 3x times 60x squared, because that is also going to give me a term in x to the, uh, in a term in x to the power of 3. So that is minus uh, 180 x to the power of 3. And if I would combine those two like terms, I'm getting minus 20 x to the power 3. The question is, what is the coefficient of the x to the power 3 term? So my answer is minus 20. There you go. Um, so I've done some pre-work for question i, which I'm using for question i, i. So that is absolutely not a waste. And I have two terms in x to the power 3, so the coefficient there is minus 20. I hope that was useful. Like and share if it was, and check my website, explainingmaths.com. I'll see you later. Have a good day.